Hello, welcome to Food Art with Sprig Barton. Today we're going to make a mango rose, a simple mango rose. Begin by getting your mango and carving some scalloped petals all the way around your mango. Get six or eight, nine, ten, depends on how much you want to do. It looks good if you do big petals or lots of small ones. Try different ways to see what you think looks best. I've done some that are between two and three centimeters long, these petals. And now I'm cutting out the bit of skin behind the petals, behind this first row of petals and removing it. Doing the same thing again, carving a row of scallop petals. You can line these up perfectly with the previous row, or you can make them in alternate lineup, or you can just go around making a row of scallop petals. Not matching them up with anything. It looks good anyway. When you're cutting off the bit of skin behind the petals, the knife should be pointing more into the petals so it can actually cut the bit of skin off. However, when you are cutting the petals themselves, the knife should be angled more towards the center of the mango so that the petals are not themselves removed. So this is the bit here where that knife is more at an angle towards the center of the mango. 30 degrees or so. more perpendicular to the center there to cut off the outside top layer of skin above the petals. There we are, another row finished. Looking good. Guess what's next? Carve a row of scalloped petals. Yes, that's why it's called simple. It's the same thing over and over. It's quite easy to do. Cutting away the next row of skin above the row of petals. Getting a bit off camera there, but we'll get it back. And that one's done. More petals. Just keep going until you're finished. And another row layer completed. Don't worry, we're almost done. Whoa. Yep, look at that. Awesome, isn't it? Yes, a lovely mango rose. Oh, and it looks great in front of the tulips there. Very beautiful. It's fun to turn it. Ooh, be a nice doorknob, wouldn't it? Maybe sometime you could carve one out of wood. Hey, here's your chance to remember to either subscribe or to watch some more of my videos. Thanks for watching Food Art.